Hello and welcome. My name is Amurli and you are watching eScoding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.10 on Windows 10 operating system. This is Windows 10 Pro. You can check it by pressing Windows key and path break buttons together. And you can see this is Windows 10 Pro. Also, system type is 64-bit operating system and processor and SMM. So on here on Python website, let me zoom in a little. Now you can see there are multiple tabs here under downloads tab. You have Windows option to go to python.org in your preferred browser. I am using Google Chrome. And then click on Windows. Okay, it is safe to download and install this stable release which is 3.10.11 if you try installing 3.11.3 or pre-releases 3.12.0.7 whatever uh, there is a possibility the installation will fail okay so the safest installation for windows 8 8.1 and 10 is going to be in uh, Python 3.10.11. So, under downloads, go to Windows and look for 3.10.11 uh, download options. I would suggest you should download this one, which says uh, Windows installer 64 bit, provided your Windows is. 64-bit based on 64-bit processor if it's 32-bit you should download this one if you don't want to download and, and this is basically package you will have to do everything manually this is installer so we will download and install python with the 64-bit python windows installer download to uh, install Python 3.10.11 which is the safest uh, Python 3 installation for most of Windows 8, 8.1 and 10. It clearly says this cannot be used on Windows 7 or any earlier releases. So you should go ahead and download something which works for Windows 7 if you have. So once it is downloaded, locate it. This is a uh, commonly used browser which is Google Chrome. So it's showing here if you are using Firefox, Edge or any other browser, locate your download and just click on it. You might have to double click. And then most important thing, check this box which says add python.exe to path. So this will make sure that you already have access from anywhere on the uh, on uh, your Windows Explorer directory. It could be a third party app as well, like command prompt or any third party app. So if you add this path uh, Python to path, it will be executable from anywhere on the system. What it includes, it includes, you can see, idle, pip, documentation, uh, tk and tc. You can check here, td and tk. So it's going to install everything. So make sure you've checked it and then click install now. Uh, on the pop up view which says user account control, say yes. And, and this is going to install a few packages documentation idle and set it to the systems set the python.exe to systems variable path so you can see it's going to install td and tk installing it says okay installing td and tk support for 64-bit launcher it also installs launcher which is basically a supporting uh, which you get with Python. It is installing the package manager for Python, which is basically pip. 
So if you go to it is already giving you some of uh, menu, 3.10 menu. Once the installation is done, I'll quickly go ahead and show you. Okay, it says set it was successfully. You can close it now and go to your menu. And then you can see it says documentation. So this is local documentation. You don't need to go online and uh, look up in Google, etc. So that's basically documentation which you can launch from your system. Then we have IDEN. Simply press Windows key and type it up. Idle Python GUI. So, when you launch it, it is an app. Uh, it is here. Okay. That is basically an app which you can download from Windows, Microsoft Windows Store. So, you can see this is idle. Here, you can type something like print and then. Type and then options and then run it so it runs like that you just press enter and it runs okay so you got options here and you can customize let's say the font is very less Spend word go to line so there has been some improvement to this um, idle shell you can go to configure idle and you want a bold text at least 12 apply okay a bit bolder so if you don't need bold go to options again and check the bold option select 14 okay here we go there are multiple options you'll have to explore it so it works okay so it is working on idle if you go to your command prompt you should see some scene here So it is working. Let's say you are using any text editor and you want to write uh, a Python script. So simply create a file, save it. I'm going to save it in my desktop. I'm going to say it hello. Okay. Then I can simply type whatever I have in the script. Save it. Okay. Once it is saved, I can launch So this is basically my uh, inbuilt where is it? Exit I'm just trying to exit so Anyway, this is on my text. Where is this Sally file? This is on Excel. Okay. What I will do, I will go ahead and launch my CMD, which is already on the desktop. And I can run my script here for me. 
Let's see it is working. So to execute the script, you simply say Python and then the name of the file. The file with the extension in, and it should work. Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment. Have a good day.